All right, just got out of the water with a surf, doing a surf with the wife. Pretty good, given the circumstances. Always fun, of course. Always super, super grateful to be out there. It's the uh, Wall Street Journal today. They're being kind of cheeky with uh, the Pampaluma. I'm not sure you say that, totally butchering it, no pun intended. Abuse of the Bulls, running of the Bulls. Wasn't it Hemingway said the only real three sports were, uh, what was it, motorsports, and I think we can include motorcycles in that. Uh, boxing and bullfighting, but the rest are just games. So he's of course speaking to consequence, but that's that overwrought, weepy-eyed, alcoholic point of view on life that leads to assholes like Stockton Rush. But still, there is something to bullfighting and motorsports, boxing, and of course that extends to other combat sports. Although, you know, people like MMA over boxing, but you always have to have a rule set. And in a way, boxing can become so much more like ballet precisely because of the restrictions. You have to remember that boxing evolved out of uncontrolled violence. So in a way, MMA, it's a social regression. But uh, yeah, it is the sweet science for a reason. But yeah, it's amazing how many uh, great authors have been traumatized with bullfights. Um, a lot of them are too spicy for YouTube, but look it up, man. A lot of the great philosophical writers are totally permanently fucked in the head because they watched a real-life bullfight. And these are not vegans. I mean, fucking Hemingway was a PTSD motherfucker, and he still got completely ruined by a bullfight. So it's probably not good to just slaughter bulls for absolutely no reason in a totally unfair fight. Super chicken shit.